Today I'm going to be making something really, really yummy. We're going to make some little pinwheels with some puff pastry. So we're going to need half a box of puff pastry, which I have here. Some Parmesan Reggiano cheese. I have some smoked black forest ham and just regular mustard. So those are the ingredients. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do, get a little bit of bench flour down on my work surface. Get our puff pastry. And this usually comes in two blocks in a box. Okay, so this is half a box. Just get a little bit of flour on there. There we go. Grab your rolling pin. And I just want to get this into a rectangle. So I'm going to roll this out until we get it to a nice size. And then I'll come back. So I'll just whip through this and I'll be back in a minute. All right, I have rolled that out nicely. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get a little bit of our mustard on here. So just put a little bit all over the place. And you don't want to go all the way to the edges. Almost to the edges, but not quite. All right, that's good. Okay, so I've opened up my nice smoked black forest ham. And now I'm just going to start layering this on here on our puff pastry, just like that. Any which way you like, there are no rules. Just make sure that all areas are covered. Just like that, and just two more slices will be perfect for this. And like that, that's good. All right, the next step, we're gonna grab our nice little block of Parmesan, and I'm just gonna start getting some of that all over. So just get a nice layer on here. You could also put a little bit of paprika if you'd like to have a little bit of heat. Today I'm not going to do that, but you could. There we go, perfect. All right, and then our next step is we're gonna roll this up. So just grab one of your edges, get a nice little tight roll going and just start rolling it up. Super, super simple. And if you're having a little dinner party, you can make these ahead and then just pop them in the oven when your guests have arrived and it's gonna be super fresh and they will be amazed. There we go. I'm gonna grab my cutting board. Bring that on there. You can seal your edge if you wish. Perfect, and then get yourself a nice sharp knife. Okay, I've got my knife, and I'm just gonna cut these into about one inch circles. Okay, so just like that. Now I've got a baking tray here. I also have my oven set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm just gonna take these now, where am I? There we are. And I'm just going to get them on there, and if they're not perfectly round, you can just give them a little, you know, squish with your hands, just to make sure that they're nice and round. And now get them on your tray, just like that. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, I just zoomed out a little bit, just to, so you could see a little bit better. You want to give these room to breathe, so just get them on, just like that. There we go, one, two, three, and I'm going to pop these into my 400 degree oven, maybe about 15 minutes. Okay, you wanna look at them when they look nice and golden brown, then you know they're ready to come out. So look at that, there we go. Perfect, okay. So off to my oven, and I'll come back and I'll show you when they're all baked. All right, let's get those right on there. Extremely hot still. Just came out of the oven about a minute ago, and here we go. I left them in for 20 minutes. And you can see how nice these are. Nice and golden brown, puffy. Mm -mm. Now we could have got a lot more if I had sliced them a little bit thinner. So if you want them a little thinner and a few more of them, just slice them a little bit more thinly. And then they'll probably take a little bit you know, less time, about maybe 15 minutes instead of the 20 that I did them for. But there we go. These smell really, really good. Bring these out when you have your guests. They're gonna love them. They're gonna be really, really impressed. And there we go, beautiful. So I'll zoom in 
I'll cut into one and I'll show you what they look like inside. All right, I've zoomed in, so let's cut into one of these and I'll just show you what it looks like inside. You can hear the nice crunch because of the puff pastry. And there we go. Oh, and these smell so good. Really, really nice. Yum. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Oh, that's really good. Mmm, yum.